Hi there, hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to another video. I may have found the best budget shoe this year, and today we'll be talking about the Li Ning Li Ren Assassin. So you might be able to tell from the name and also how they look, this is a new budget version of the Li Ren line. Right now they're on the Li Ren 4, the high top, and the Li Ren 4 V2, the low top. This Li Ren Assassin comes in at a much cheaper price, but being a shoe from a Chinese brand, prices will really depend on where you are. Somewhere between $100 to $120, something like that. Kickzone.com has these available as we speak. They have a few colorways, including this white and purple one that I have. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested. The Leland 4 and Leland 4 V2, some colorways can go for like 180 or even more than 200 bucks, which is absolutely nasty, despite the amazing performance. These will be at least 70 to 80 bucks cheaper. Anyways, the most important question is, how does this budget version perform? Is it close or similar to the Leland 4 V2, let's say? I gotta tell you now, we're feeling good about this one. We're feeling very good. Let's get started. Cushion or the technology featured, that's usually where the biggest difference is on a budget model. And here they use Light Foam. Light Foam is one of their lower tier setups. Nowhere close to the softness and responsiveness you get from the full lens boom on the Leland 4. So it's not as bouncy, but it still gets the job done for me. You can think of this as more of a traditional EVA midsole. However, they did give us some TPU heel counter. Midfoot support and stability is ensured too with the plate. There is a subtle bounce and springiness to your movement. Not bad. Traction is absolutely amazing. It's definitely one of the highlights from my experience playing in them. A similar traction pattern to the Legion 4 and Legion 4 V2. This herringbone also is extremely grippy super loud and squeaky and right from the start i was getting like a nine and a half or ten out of ten close to perfect stop on an indoor court that's pickup is not a problem and yeah trash and it gives you a hard and secure grip it is a tough rb also and a cool shell upper meaning that one durability for outdoors should be good and two breathability is excellent i felt good air flows over extended runs uh, my feet did not heat up too much inside with the fit this is a pretty standard true to size fit. I would suggest going with your normal size in US sizing. Uh, like I wear a 10 and a half in most Nike shoes. 10 and a half in these is basically right on. Uh, or it feels a little bit short lengthwise. Like my toes are hitting the edge a little bit, but I got used to it really quickly. If you have very wide feet, you can go up a half size to be safe. Uh, but on their product description, they're saying that they adopted one of the wider builds that the brand has. Um, I wouldn't say it's that wide foot friendly as they advertise it. But compared to a lot of other Li Ning shoes, this is quite a forgiving fit. Like it'll stretch out over time too. Personally, I have slightly wider feet and extremely flat feet. and I was 100% good to go. Materials, uh, the synthetic layers, mesh netting on the tongue, these are all very nice and breathable. But here, maybe this upper is so thin to a point where this shoe feels bottom heavy. And I did measure them on the scale. And my pair weighs 385 grams. So they're actually heavier than the Leland 4 V2 in the same size. I wouldn't say it's an issue, but it is noticeable on feet that the upper is minimal and much of the weight is distributed towards the midsole or the bottom half of the shoe. Otherwise, as a low top and a takedown model, I think this has pretty much everything you need from a performance standpoint. Like even these insoles, uh, they might not seem so special, but if you flip it to the other side, Nike, take notes. They don't even give us insoles that are as comfortable as these on the KDs, let alone budget models. One last detail, try pairing these with a thicker performance sock, like something similar to the Nike Elite Crew socks. With an upper construction like this, that will maximize its potential in terms of comfort. Overall, this is an elite performer. While price can get a little tricky based on your location, but compared to the best budget shoes, including the Weight Flash, Curry Splash 24, uh, Precision, Air Max Impact, Dame Certified 1 and 2, 
I would say the Liren Assassin is better. The only one that can match up against these right now is the GT Car Academy. Now that's super close between the two. It might just come down to your preference with the style. Also, if you're in North America, the availability of the GT Car Academy can make it an easy decision. I've seen some on sale going for like 60 to 70 bucks. In general, if you're interested in the Li Rens but really don't want to spend that much, this is the perfect choice right here. So my conclusion on these is that this goes right to the top among this year's basketball shoes that return the best value. A mini Liren 4v2, basically. It's very impressive. But as always, let me know what you think about these down in the comments. We got more exciting budget shoes coming up. Got another good one lined up, actually. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.